My name is Ed Spaniard. I'm a Dutch conductor and pianist. Um, last year, the same concert that we do tonight has been planned with mainly the same musicians, same work, same soloist, but a different conductor, a younger Dutch conductor. They started rehearsing and at the last moment, due to political circumstances, it had to be cancelled. That colleague of mine couldn't come back and Sheriff El Razas mailed me about two months ago and he said it would be wonderful if you could come because I'm experienced in contemporary music and I know all the composers and these uh, composers we perform tonight are quite young and very interesting people and so not only does their composition speak to me but I know the persons behind it so I feel quite attached and involved and I happen to be free it is only four almost not even four days that I'm in Cairo and I've never been here in my life and you would think that's very little time but the town and the people and the language and the business and the food is so overwhelming that I feel I've experienced I have, I have impressions for a month to digest. Like this morning, I was on a camel. I saw all the pyramids. I didn't realize it was so close to the main capital. I didn't realize there were so few tourists. So when I stood close to the Sphinx and I saw the big pyramid, I was alone. It was, it was remarkable. And when we started rehearsing on Monday, these pieces we do are quite difficult and this, the three composers all have very strong personalities, different personalities, but non, none of it is sort of mainstream. They all go for a very special alleyway, as it were. And these musicians from here, some had remembered it a bit from last year, but I only had two or three days to try to get it in the minds of the musicians. And of course we didn't know each other. I knew no one and they were unfamiliar with me. But when you have an open mind and when you love making music, it is amazing how quickly you become friends about communicating these weird notes because some of them are weird and others are great fun. And so when we had a general rehearsal, Although we took it a little, you know, you have to reserve your forces during a general a little bit because in the evening you have to give full energy. But there was a remarkable Dutch sound already. And uh, I'm excited to be here. And uh, however, I, I needed to rehearse every day quite many hours. But it also feels as a little bit of a holiday squeezed in this working period and um, I'm much looking forward to tonight's concert and see how the audience will react to it. When you have an ensemble like we have tonight uh, and everybody needs to, as it were, look exactly at the same direction, have the same attack, have the same sense of whether it is expressive or one of the pieces we play when it's a long note, it's not a singing note, but it is ah, just there and then it stops. And some of these musicians understand it very quickly. Others are such heartfelt musicians from a more traditional folk music that they are so used to improvise and to make ornaments that it may at first seem strange to them. So it is my task to try and get uh, everybody looking the same way. And sometimes you do it by singing, sometimes you do it by isolating a passage, sometimes you, you pick one or two instruments apart. And I think uh, we are managed, I, I, I must say I, I enjoyed all these musicians, you know, it is, you have to be very open to each other, um, trust each other, have fun and at the same time go for a very well 
organized and studied results. So the, the mix of being totally together and feel that you are, I mean it's not like an army, but some real discipline in, in the way of understanding the music and playing the notes and at the same time you also enjoy the personalities. When there is a chance for something private, that is also beautiful. And um, uh, the pieces are quite different. Two of the three pieces I conduct have a funny, tough aspect and one of them by the lady composer I find very witty also, I know her and she has a lot of fun. She likes to play, not to make fun of people but to enjoy looking at the playful side of things. And the piece of the composer who is present tonight, Wilbert Bilsink, is a totally delicate and subtle piece and uh, you need to it is with that pieces if your ears have to be almost magnified you have to listen with incredible delicacy as if there's a microscope on your ears listen to the soft tones of the harp and blend with that and to my wonderful surprise the musician felt that color immediately and that's very different from the two other pieces who tend to be tough and so there's, there's a nice contrast also in the program and um, always uh, performance is a little bit of an adventure fortunately I have a lot of experience I like to be on stage so I'm not panicky I trust the musicians if they are serious and if you have a good connection with them and because some of this music is difficult, there may be slight things out of place, but I have a very good thing, idea that the whole thing will come to life and will get across to the audience. <laughs>